Welcome back to Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga! Last time, we got massages, which was less important than the fact that we learned how to use the power of our hands on the other brother to do more than just, you know, torture them. It can be used to our advantage. Alright, and today we'll be continuing Guar Heart Lagoon and the search for the Beanstar piece. But first, these assholes, which can bring back the dead. <laughs> I hate the red uh, bean Koopas. Look at that. God, it's not even just limited to their own species. They brought back Gritty Goomba and he just attacked again and died again. Uh... <laughs> Uh, technically speaking, uh, that's an elite Troopy. Uh, also an elite Gritty Goomba, but to be honest, I don't think the elite version does anything really different than the original version. It probably just has different stats. But yeah, the elite version of the Troopy is rude. <laughs> Alright, keep a look out. I know he's got AirPods and he can't hear us. <laughs> Alright, so we of course are going to be using these hand powers aplenty. And Guar Har Lagoon is going to open up a bit, now that we're actually in the dungeon proper. And once again, since we're underwater, <laughs> that just means that I will end up... Uh, oh, hi! Uh, real quick, I, I was going to say we, we're just going to touch of death a lot of these enemies. Anyway, uh, hi, Mecha Blooper, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing well, thanks for asking. You're, uh, firing off a whole lot of missiles! Death to Mario. Luigi is cool, he can live. Uh, so, Mecha Blooper has one attack, it fires. Now you might be wondering, uh, is how, like, how many missiles will it fire in a single turn? Yes. It will also fire as a countermeasure. Uh, if it runs out of bullet bills to launch, then it will just recharge on its next turn. I don't think it can counter uh, to do that, though. It's kind of hard to tell because I killed it very quickly. <laughs> uh, now that being said, uh, Guar Heart Lagoon actually does have some pretty cool enemies that aren't dicks. Elite Troopy. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, the relative power of the Mario Brothers is, um, high. So... Uh, it's not the best showcase of them. This is just the, uh... Star Kisses, though. We've seen them. Which means we're going to level up off them in a moment. I thought maybe you are going to show off a new brother's attack. Oh, uh, no, that's for later. <laughs> I, I kill everything enough as is. And dang, it's a really good crit. Pretty sure I've already mentioned the fact that when hit, the uh, cheap cheeps puff up and are spiky. I, I'm pretty sure I remember saying that last time. Oh Jesus, five defense. Well, if I was ever gonna get hit, oh buddy, you would not be doing much damage to Mario. That's for sure. All right, and now for the time being, we are free from the wretched water. And now we're just in this general area. So, we're at the southern part of the beach. This is the big part I was talking about. So, let's see some puzzles. Step one. Do you remember how to do this? You do? Go oh, God. I swear Mario's eyes were twitching. <laughs> that is uncomfortable to look at. I mean, he's in pain. Yeah? Luigi's comically in pain, at least. <laughs> you don't have to feel pity for old Luigi. It's funny, you're supposed to laugh. <laughs> laugh at the sad clown! <laughs> but doctor, I'm Luigi! <laughs> uh, here, I'm showing off the cool fact that, uh... Troopies don't really take damage from much other than just jumping. Also, that, which I don't think I ever got to show off uh, the fact that you can bounce off the shells with the original Troopies, but you can do that with them, and these guys too. 
it's really neat. They just don't have enough HP to really uh, make use of it. Normally, they just go spiraling off screen. All right, plus eight. Fuck. <laughs> All right, we're almost there though. We can still uh, get up there. We just can't go over. Oh, hey, here's one of the uh, other uh, neat new enemies. I like its weird Waluigi-esque design. Uh, this is a Beanerang Bro. So it's got a couple of different attacks. It will either throw over the brother, uh, in which case it will only be attacking one. Uh, the timing on that can actually be a bit difficult, and hey, rude. Oh, but hey, we get to see uh, two of these guys now, so maybe they'll show off the other attack they can do. Uh, also, I don't think they can really hit you with the uh, upwards shot, and there's their other attack. Yeah. With this one, when they just throw at a brother, uh, you do have to dodge with both. Again, the timing can be a little weird with how those boomerangs move, so they can be difficult enemies. So, because of the way they were holding them, I thought those boomerangs were guns. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna shoot the Mario Brothers. <laughs> Y'all ever try bringing a gun? No fireballs, no hammers, no Goombas. Just you, me, and a rifle. <laughs> Six shots more than enough to kill anything that moves. <laughs> when a man with fireballs meets a man with a rifle, the man with the fireballs will be a dead man. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> gun bros aside, uh, that little stretch of water right there is the main goal of Guarhar Lagoon. You might have noticed that rock with a save point over it. We've got to make a path forward, so it's a whole lot of looping around the beach in order to find whatever switches we need to bring up a path. And, and yeah, see, as I was saying earlier, uh, you can't really jump into the boomerang when it's over you, which is weird. You think they would have tried to trick you like that, but unless the timing is very strict to get hit, uh, it'll miss you. Alright, and <laughs> double what Luigi got, because of course. What's your ass, Sonic? That we're gonna be the fastest. <laughs> Bonk. All right, and here's my favorite enemy on the beach. Uh, they're known as... Uh? And with good reason. You don't know what they are until they come up. They could be a fish that jumps over you. Or they could be... Jesus <laughs> Christ, crazy as a land shark. <laughs> uh, so yes, their official names are Sandsheep and Sharkbone, respectively. As I've demonstrated, don't jump over the fish, and do jump over the skeleton. Uh, shark bones can also poison you if they manage to bite you. Uh, and I will say this now, because unfortunately it will never come up. Uh, even if you figure out who is where, they will actually move around every once in a while to try to uh, throw you off their trail. They'll just sort of mix themselves up in battle. Uh, just as a uh, counter. But unfortunately, they die too quickly. And speaking of die too quickly, uh, as we'll be able to see from here, the shark bones have less HP, so uh, in my case, if you kill uh, at least one of the unknown enemies with a preemptive strike, that's the shark bone. You don't have to worry about them anymore. <laughs> Uh, that is, like, I'm guessing, actually, I know, I've, I've uh, looked at some of the enemy stats for the uh, remake of this game, and they do buff up enemy HP a bit. Uh, again, haven't played the remake, so I don't know how that plays in practice. I don't know if they're, you know, HP sponges like they are in future games. But, you know, a little extra survivability on the enemies might be for the best. Not gonna fire that last one, huh? Well, alright. 
<laughs> Becca Blooper has not fired at Luigi yet. <laughs> I must preserve him. I will keep him safe. Alright, plus four, plus four. No! Weirdly enough, I, Mecha Blooper, only have red color blindness. I, I don't like that weird unknown brother. The way he dresses blends in with the waves. I do not trust him, unlike the comforting green of Luigi. Oh boy, it's a whole room full of these guys. Well, touch of death, here we go. Oh, we must, uh... Oh, yeah, I just wanted to show off that I just killed these guys now. <laughs> it's... It's gotten that far. <laughs> On second thought, make everything HP sponges. <laughs> they must survive. I will say, uh... These underwater sections are short. But I don't know why they're here. I do kind of like the dynamic they add. Like... I think the idea of moving between the beach and the sea is actually pretty cool, but it doesn't really do much in the long run, especially since there are no, uh, like, new puzzles down in the sea. And that's kind of what Guarhar Lagoon's for, right? Using the new hand powers? Finally. Wait, no! Nice. Wait, no! No! Hear me! No! <laughs> this is why nobody likes you, Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> this is why Mom always liked Mario best. Mom, our disembodied pair of hands. Alright, yeah, the undersea section done. Like, other than the little, uh current tornado that we can spin jump into to get some height. The underwater sections really haven't introduced anything new, and yeah, that was just there to make us fight a whole lot of star kisses. Which, I can do that. They're, like, the easiest enemy at the moment. Alright, and that's bridge part one completed. Two more parts of the bridge left to go. I think we're done with underwater as well. I think I think we're just beachside only now. Don't hold me to that though. All right, so now we've got a little uh, little challenge that we're going to need the old fire hand for. Gotta press that switch. Oh, but we only have ten seconds to do that. Oh, how are we ever gonna get across there in time? By setting Luigi on fire. Clearly. When in doubt, just set Luigi ablaze. <laughs> yeah, Luigi hates that saying. <laughs> oh, calm down, Luigi. It's, it's a helpful tip. Do you want to inconvenience us all, Luigi? Also, Jesus, Mario. 178 damage with a crit. <laughs> Don't the fuck with me! I'm gonna kill all you! <laughs> it's -a me, the ender of things! All about before me! Oh, oh geez, Luigi, no! Alright, well, uh, let's just kill that one and hope that it was the bones. Yep, it, it was the bones, but also it didn't matter because it attacked Mario anyway. Ah, uh, the poor land sharks. I, did, I love their design and their concept, so I do feel really bad about just destroying them utterly. But I mean, what am I gonna do? Other than change clothes, I mean what? <laughs> these sections, but this time it's a little more complex. There's gonna be two steps to this process, because there's a block over there, and 20 whole seconds to press it. 
I don't know why they bothered with the iron ball. Like, it's not as though you could make it over without fire, and you would have played the first section, and that would have shown you that if you tried to just walk to the other block, you wouldn't make it in time. I feel like this is redundant. Yeah, it's... It's just there to be a visual marker of, like, you're not gonna... You gotta use the fire to go fast enough. Yeah, which, like, kind of makes sense, except, like, that little challenge right there is kind of a vid visual marker in its own right. It, like, it's almost the end of the game-ish, so... We're not going to have a super long time to get these types of puzzles, but... They still use it a fair bit, and just seeing a long stretch of land like that, it it's repetitive enough that unless you take long breaks, you'll probably remember it. And if you do take long breaks, I don't know how the Iron Ball would help. But maybe that's just me and my associations. Ah, and unlike the other sections to get to the, uh, Boo Switch, this is extremely short. <laughs> oh, it's one of these. Yep. It's a pretty easy puzzle, and if you need to restart, just walk to the left and try again. There aren't any enemies on this screen, so nothing to really put you in danger, and we're done. Warheart Lagoon looks a lot bigger than it actually is. That certainly felt like it took a long time when I was a kid and playing this. Felt like I was here for ages. Oh, uh, alright, sure. Is this bullying, or are you just the type who likes Christmas out of December? My god, he's here! Finally! And you're 30 years younger. <laughs> I d I've been decorating my shelf for this! <laughs> I mean, Santa's magic. He can just turn into the superb Mario brother. Wow, I didn't realize it when we trampled you, but yeah, you're Mario. Dang, nice! <laughs> Fuck this guy! <laughs> Super Mario, eat a dick, Hermie. What are you doing? Are you just punching him? <laughs> What's Luigi doing? Just trying to get Mario out of there. Mario's very shy, of course doesn't like this attention. You're a really bad Mario cosplayer. <laughs> ah shit, they actually know Luigi, and the fact that he always gets left behind. <laughs> Dang, you're always player two and so you don't actually get, get to be playable? Dang, that sucks. At least you get your own game, but man, I can't believe they force you to play as Mario in New Super Mario Brothers unless you're playing multiplayer. That sucks. Oh, hi. <laughs> I take it you're a fan of playing Mario only in New Super Mario Brothers. I like playing as Toad. Fuck all of you. You know you could play as Luigi in the first one for the DS. It's weird that they changed that in the, in the later ones. Anyway, here's Hermie. He's mad. Specifically, he is Hermie the Third. Uh, he is apparently a reference to a game developed by Alpha Dream previously, uh, Tomato Adventure. I don't know anything about that game, though, other than just the reference to it. God, I feel like I've heard that name before, but I also don't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, 
that was the fire attack. I, It's okay. It's better against enemies who are actually weak to fire. Hermie can counterattack with his claws, provided they're still alive, and he can also speed himself up. Which doesn't matter too much. Now, here's the really good move. So yeah, that was a bro's attack that just required the B button three times. And uh, that's not the best part. The best part is... Oh, he's gonna attack a lot because he's very fast. I guess that does give him an advantage, but we killed his claws. Anyway, defense down! We inflicted a debuff on him. Those are super uncommon from bro's attacks, oddly enough, but... Yeah, Thunder Brothers has it. And it's good. Thunder Brothers and Chopper Brothers is disgusting because you can just lower somebody's defense and just go to town on them. Uh, also, because everybody's power was so high, I really had to try to not kill Hermie. So I'm just attacking him normally and, like, healing instead of actually doing damage. Because there is another thing he can do, and I want to show that. I'm going to show it. We're going to eat syrup from the container until you do the thing, Hermie. Look at this. Do you like this display? Do you like people swallowing syrup? You don't? Okay, you retreat into your shell. I would like to show you do very little damage to the shell. He was in danger of dying, by the way, <laughs> even at that damage. However, you can set the shell on fire because I guess that's a real tree on that shell. Uh, he does also heal his claws, so... Oh man, now it's gonna be a real fight. Uh, Alright, let's take out the claws first and just give this poor hermit a chance. Let let's let him do anything. <laughs> just let the poor bastard <laughs> have any time in the sun. I want to see Thunder Brothers again just because I want to see <laughs> Luigi cast the Daga. Knock him back. And destroy him. <laughs> Alright, well then, that was the Hermie the Third battle. Uh, I I'm sorry we stole your thunder and then used a an attack called Lightning on th Thunder Brothers on you, which is Lightning. The, you know, those two get mixed up a lot for some reason. And uh, yeah, we, we kind of embarrassed you in your own bo boss battle. I'm It's a piece of the bean star, but like, I'm starting to get the feeling that nobody actually cares about the bean star other than Cacleta. <laughs> also, fancy animation for getting a bean star piece. Heck yeah! Shame we only have three more of those. All right, well, uh, we just beat you up, stole your decoration, and, uh, yeah, now we're gonna leave. Yeah, superstars are busy people. We gotta go find an actual star that grants wishes, which is an impressive thing, everybody. I'd just like to announce that that's impressive. <laughs> no? None of you care? All right, well, Hermie wants a replacement for the bean star piece, so... We'll try to keep an eye out for that. But for the time being, uh, I don't care, so... Let's get out of Guar Har Lagoon. <laughs> we only spent, you know, less than an hour here, but I'm ready to leave. I also don't like spending more than an hour at the beach. <laughs> I prefer minimal beach time. I like looking at beaches in video games. Actual beaches, not too fond. There, there's some saying about sand and how it gets everywhere, but, you know, I feel like that's a little played out, so I'll, I'll, I'll just let you assume what I said there, because you know. You know the line. Anyway, we're back in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Hooray! Next time, I guess we'll continue our search for the Bean Star. And dang, we're going to shoot up so many levels. Check this out. Bean Bean Castle... Gates up.
Ba-bam, 31.